Look at somebody and tell them, I see beyond this. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me tonight? I, I see beyond this. I, I know what the devil is doing, but I see beyond this. I know the finances are not coming right now. And everything is tight. But I see beyond this. Somebody said my children are not saved. They don't, they don't even have a mind to go to church. Yeah, I know that. But I see. God said, ask for me and my house. I see beyond this. That's what Martha Luther King was talking about. He said, I see. He said, I've been to the mountaintop. Oh, y'all don't hear me tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, look at somebody one more time. Tell them I see something. Glory to God. Listen to me tonight. Get back to my story where I was talking a while ago. God told Israel, he said, look, I'm going to bring you out of Egypt. I'm going to take you over to Canaan. The land that is flowing with milk and honey. Listen to me real good. He said, the land that is flowing with milk and honey. That was a promise. That was the will of God for them to come out of bondage and go over to live it, over into a land that was flowing with milk and honey. When they got there, they were going to have it made. What they did not know was this, that they were going to have to go through the wilderness. Look at somebody tell them, you're just going through a temporary wilderness. That's why God said, look not upon the thing that are seen, for they are temporal. But look upon the thing that are not seen. I'm talking about down on the inside of you. Thing that other people can't look and see. He said, look upon the thing that are not seen, for they are eternal. Then he said, but the light affliction is but for a moment. Hallelujah. Paul's out there clown that the suffering of this present time is not worthy of the glory that shall be revealed in us. My God, what I'm going through, it can't even be compared to what I'm going to. Look at somebody and tell them I'm here somewhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Bible said that God he got them out in the wilderness. And out in the wilderness. Now hear this now. God has spoke to them and told them, I'm going to bring you out of Egypt. He brought them out of Egypt. He said, I'm going to take you to Canaan. But right between Egypt and Canaan was the wilderness. They were in the wilderness. And right in the middle of the wilderness, God speaks to Moses and said, Moses, choose our 12 spies. Send them over into Canaan. Now, God already told them that Canaan is a land that is flowing with milk and honey. That's what God said. God said, I see it. But it don't matter what I see if you can't see what I see. So he told them what was in the land. Then he tell Moses, choose them out and send them over there. And when they come back, ask them, what did they see? The Bible said they go over there, spy out the land, they come back. And, and Moses said, what you see? They said the land is flowing with milk and honey, just like God said. There are grapes and pomegranates in the land. But there's only one problem, the children of Achan is in the land. And we're but grasshoppers under them. We don't stand a chance. God said you just messed up because you're limited to what you see. You've seen the wrong thing. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't getting this. See, some of y'all tonight, you're sick in your body. But God said in the 107th division of song, I sought my word and healed them. He said in the 103rd division of song, I healed thee of all of thine infirmity. He said in Isaiah 53, by my stripes you are healed. He said in 1 Peter 2, 24, who his own self bad, I sin in his own body on the tree. That we being dead to sin shall live unto righteousness, but by his stripes we were healed. He said in James 5, if there be any sick amongst you, let them call for the elders of the church. They shall anoint them with oil and pray the prayer of faith. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise them up. He said in Acts 10, 38, that God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good, healing all of those that was oppressed of the devil. Then he turned around and said, tell me what you see. Look at somebody tell me, I see myself healed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, I know that, that, that the x-ray said cancer. But I see beyond cancer. I see my 
myself healed. I see the word of God. Oh, bless his name. They come back and they say the children ain't coming in the land. We don't stand a chance. And God said, he said, you brought back an evil report. Why the evil? We told the truth. No, you didn't tell the truth. You told facts. There's a difference between truth and facts. There, it was a fact that the children of Achan were there. There, there were giants in the land. But the truth was, God said, you can have the land. That's the truth. And Jesus said, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. The Bible says, then come Joshua and Caleb come back. Moses looked at them. They laughed to get back. They must have been over there enjoying themselves. They get back and Moses looked at them. He said, tell me, what did you see? They said, the land is flowing with milk and honey. There's grapes and pomegranates in the land. The children are aching to death, but that ain't no problem. He said, that strength, that defense has gone from them. And great is he that be for us and he that be with them. He said, listen to what they said. They said, they said, they shall be bread unto us. In other words, they said, we're going to eat them. I believe Joshua was a black man. <laughs> they said, we're going to eat them up. Why? Because greater is he that is for us than he that is with them. Yeah. I'm telling you tonight, church, that if God be for you, yeah. who can be against you? The Bible said no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. He didn't say the devil wasn't going to form it, but he said it would not work. Look at somebody and tell them, I don't care what the devil come out with, come up with, it won't work. So, so, so Moses said, what do you see? They said, we see what God see. Hallelujah. Can I ask you a question tonight since we're at Ma'ala? Ma'ala, what do you see? See, you wonder why Bishop Miller would have them to get up and read that vision every month. Same vision. You know why he would have you to read that vision? Because God showed him something. And he's trying to get you to see what he see. And when you see what he see, you're going to start saying what he's saying. And when you start saying what he's saying, you're going to have what God promised you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me tonight? Because the kingdom of God is influenced by the power of your words. And your words will only line up with what you see. Are you hearing me? Tonight? Say amen. So, so, so Joshua and Caleb said, we see the promise. We see what God promised us. And I want to say this tonight. I'm not going to hold you long. Every one of us God has a vision for our lives. A vision is an impartation of the will of God. God is imparting his vision, his will into us. And when we begin to see what he's showing us, we're going to start having what he promised us. 